this to work. Happy Friday. Let's see if we can get this to, oh, here we go. We're going, we're doing it. Um, so hi, hi, uh, happy Friday. Hope everyone's keeping cool. It's really hot out. Um, last week we talked to Jimmy and I let you guys know that we're gonna continue our um, little staff interview so you can kind of get to know the team that's working on all of these cases that we've also been talking about for the last couple lives here. Um, so yeah, I let you guys know that we're gonna talk to Shell today. She's um, our like our uh, paralegal here, and then she's also she's like manages the office. She makes everything run smoothly. So like she's a huge thanks to her is how any of this works. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start off like you know we have a couple fun questions and then kind of some just like more about cases. But the first one we just want to know where are you from? I am born and raised in Pueblo, Colorado. Um, never got anywhere different. <laughs> um, I've always lived in Pueblo, so don't have any desire to leave anywhere else. If I did, it would have to be somewhere that's really nice and hot because I'm always <laughs> always cold. <laughs> it's kind of warm in here. She's cold, but uh, no, yeah. Why leave? Why leave? Why right. leave? Like, once yeah. I came to Colorado, I I knew I wasn't gonna leave. Yeah. Um. So. I know you did a little bit um, before working at Wright Law Group. Can you just kind of give us a rundown of what you were doing before you worked here? Well, that's a good <laughs> a little question. bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, back in '94, I started with Pueblo County. Um, I did a few years with the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office and the Treasurer's Office, but the majority of my time was spent at the Pueblo County DA's office. Um, there, I worked in county court, district court. I became the supervisor for county court. Um, we handled all the minor traffic tickets, the assaults, the um, DUIs. I handled a lot of stuff in county <laughs> court, um, except for the major felony cases. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of like what we do here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it kind of, what I was doing before kind of pertains to what I'm doing now. It's just on the opposite side. Yeah. <laughs> so it um, it helps having the knowledge of it still because oh, yeah. I'm still able to keep what I had and put it towards what I'm doing now. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So like I can definitely tell that like you know exactly what you're talking about with these cases and stuff. <laughs> so that's perfect. That's great. Um, so what brought you to write law group? This is, I, I like this question because I know, but how did you end up here? The questions of all questions. <laughs> uh, when I was working at the district attorney's office, Alexis actually got hired on to become an attorney down there. And I was the head paralegal of county court at the time. And I kind of walked her through everything that she needed to do for the public DA's office. And we, we became very close, got a very strong connection. And when she left, we stayed in contact with each other, which was amazing. I'm very thankful for that. And when she started RLG, Right Law Group, she asked me numerous times to come and join her. <laughs> <laughs> I was very skeptic about it. I was very afraid, I guess you could say, to leave the DA's office because I was there for so long yeah. that I didn't know anything than that. Yeah. So it was a it was a huge jump, and the final time that she asked me, <laughs> after numerous times of asking me, <laughs> I finally decided to say yes, let's do it. Yeah. And I'm very thankful that I took that jump, and we've been plugging along ever since, and it's been amazing. Yeah. I love working with Alexis, and she's just very down to earth. She knows what she's doing, and it's very nice to have somebody that knows exactly what she's going for and how she wants it done. Yeah, I was going to say, it's definitely easy to be a part of her team with how confident she is and what she's doing and the knowledge and stuff. But Right, and working with her before, I know exactly how she works. <laughs> and I know That's why we work, because you know how she works. <laughs> and I know when I need to get on her about something or when yeah. she's not doing it, and <laughs> just kind of give her that look, and she knows. Yeah. So it's very nice to have that connection yeah. that I know what she's thinking, and she knows what I'm thinking, and it just gets done. Yeah, definitely. Here we are three years later. We just yes. celebrated our anniversary a little bit ago. 
Um, so I asked the attorneys, and since you, you know a lot about all of these cases and a lot of our clients and what people walk into, um, the question is, what's something that you wish people knew when hiring an attorney? Like, right law group, but just an attorney in general. Like, what do you wish people knew? Because a lot of our clients are first-time offenders and, you know, come in with no idea. I would have to say... If you get pulled over, over for a DUI, it is very important that you read the paperwork that the law enforcement agency gives you. Yes. <laughs> because the Colorado DMV has very strict guidelines and they are on a very short time frame where you have to get something done immediately. And if you don't, you could lose your driving privileges until your DUI case is done. Yeah. So it's very, very important whether you hire a right law group or or another attorney. It's just very important for to get the DMV involved and get your hearing scheduled so that yeah. you can have your driver's license at least for a little bit longer until you do get an attorney hired. Yeah. If you do hire an attorney, then it's a lot easier for the attorney to get that scheduled for you. Yeah. So I think for as long as I've been on the defense side of everything, <laughs> that's one of the questions that we get most of yeah. and people don't realize that they only have a short period of time. Yeah. So it's just very imperative that they that they know that. Yeah, I try and throw that in our in our posts every so often. It's like seven days to request the, that yes. is not a long not period of time. So yeah, definitely <laughs> that's especially, such a good tip. Yeah. Especially if you get pulled over on a Friday and you get put in jail. Yes, no. <laughs> there, there's, there's half of your week already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Definitely. No, that's a really good one. And like I said, I keep trying to put out that exact info because it moves quick in those kinds of cases oh, definitely um so a little more on the fun side um just when you're not working because you're working all the time so when you do sign off from work rarely but when you do what do you like to do in your free time i think the most thing that we like to do the most is we go camping fishing um at lake pueblo oh yeah uh, we have jet skis so we like to when we can, we try to get out on those, but we usually go out on the boat and do some fishing and yeah. enjoy the, the quietness sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the chaoticness, but it's a lot of fun just to get away. Being with family is very important. Um, you have kids, so yes. you know how that is. <laughs> yes. um, I love being around my kids and my grandkids. It's just, it's very important to me. Yeah. And when I'm not working, that's what I do. I'm glad that they take you away from work. They give you a good reason to sign off and do it because yes. you work so hard all the time. She's always the last one signed on and the first one signed on. So I, I um, would say all, the, always, but. almost always. <laughs> it's good. It's how we work. But um, yeah, so that was just kind of to get to know Shell a little bit more. Like I said, she works on you know all of our cases. She's doing a lot of stuff for us as a team, and she kind of helps us stay well oiled. She checks in with us, all that kind of stuff. So I know. It's busy, and I'm glad you fit us into your schedule even today to do this. Um, but yeah, I just want you know you guys to get a little feel for who you're talking to, and you know who's working on your cases. So we're all people, and we want you to know and feel comfortable working with us. But um, yeah, that was kind of it for today um, for our live. I haven't yet convinced anyone else on our team to do it, so next week will be a surprise. But I will <laughs> I will put a post up um, just so we know who we're talking to and get to know. But yeah, everyone have a really good Friday. Make good choices. <laughs> Call us if you need us. <laughs> and yeah, we'll talk to you guys later.